Festival. This movie is excellent on every level possible. This is a beautiful movie with great performances in it. Images from this film stay in my mind. I think it's just almost like a perfect movie. It is definitely an essential. The Candidate, 1972. Certainly this is an essential in Robert Redford's evolution. Peter Boyle and Melvin Douglas are two of the reasons this movie is so good. Honestly, if it wasn't for Robert Redford, I don't know where independent film would be today. This is a very quirky political drama that was quite daring for its time. Today, at 10 o'clock, I file the papers to enter my name in the Democratic primary as a candidate for the United States Senate. Any questions? Community legal service. Why are you doing this? Because I don't think the incumbent is really in touch with how people live or what they need. The Candidate, 1972. Yeah. Yes. You know, I hadn't seen this movie for a long time, and I really was impressed by it again. Yes. It's kind of semi-documentary style, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what it says, mm -hmm. what Robert Redford had it say yeah. at that particular point yeah. in his career when he could have been, you know, sailing along doing romantic stories. Yeah, he, was, he was a, you know, huge, big Huge movie star, star yeah. Know? I personally, I mean, I don't think this is the best of Bob's films, but I think it's an essential because I think of what, what Bob was doing, what Redford was doing in making this mm -hmm. film and Downhill Racer. And what it led to. It, that's what I mean. He was making his own independent films that he was pushing through with a tiny budget. Um, where he, His other films that he was making at the time were these big studio uh, mainstream movies, but these were little quirky to the edge movies, and he got them made. And he really, it really started a mindset for him that ultimately has changed uh, the motion picture industry all over the world in such an enormous way. And that is, it eventually led him into starting the Sundance Institute mm -hmm. and uh, the festival and opening up and beginning uh, bringing independent film to a mainstream level. It was hugely important. And I think this is where you see Robert Redford beginning this idea, beginning this involvement, um, even though I think it, he was sort of brewing it in his head earlier. And you, and you certainly see his own individual feelings about mm -hmm. things in this, his political feelings about the environment, about a woman's right to choose, and about politics, mm -hmm. the corruption of, of, of politics, and, and his feeling about being a celebrity and the corruption of, of a yeah. human. I just want to get up there and say what I came to say. Well, we'll go over it, but you can't say too much on TV. I thought the point was to say what I wanted. Well, it is, but in the right way and at the right time. We never discussed a right time. We never had to, because you know it. Don't tell me what I know. Don't make me. Get me spit back and the phone down and let's get this straight. I want to know what the hell this campaign is. So besides him giving a wonderful performance in it, there are also some other terrific performances. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Michael Ritchie directed. Michael Ritchie. But you got Don Porter, wonderful performances. Wonderful. And, and it's very slick. Kind of too smooth. Too smooth, too politician. slick, but, but very likable. And a very young Peter Boyle. Very young Peter Boyle, yeah. yeah. You can't go back. You're the Democratic nominee for senator. We have to also point out Melvin Douglas, yes. who's so good in this. Yes. Very tiny part, but and not many actors can bring to a scene what someone like a Melvin Douglas can. Son, you're a politician. It's a great cast. Mm -hmm. It's an essential in that it's great that it was made. Mm -hmm. And again, it's got a kind of a semi-documentary style, which wasn't being done no. at that time at all, no. particularly by a mainstream actor. Yes, especially not in 1972. Absolutely. So let's see the movie. Here it is, a powerful political drama, an Oscar winner for Best Adapted Screenplay by Jeremy Larner. From 1972, The Candidate. <laughs>